Afternoon, everyone. My name is Kimberly Gant, and I'm the Curator of Modern Contemporary Art here at the Brooklyn Museum, and the Brooklyn Museum's organizing curator for a movement in every direction, Legacies of the Great Migration, which is coming to us from the Baltimore Museum of Art and the Mississippi Museum of Art, from the organizing curators, Jessica Bell Brown and Ryan Dennis. And we're very excited to have a wonderful conversation this afternoon with two of the artists in the show, Stephanie Jemison and Terquasi Dyson. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Terquasi. It's nice to see you both. Uh, my name is Stephanie Jemison. I am an artist who grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. My name is Terquasi Dyson. I am from Chicago, Illinois, but I currently live in Beacon, New York. How can we think about the legacy of the Great Migration in a holistic and kind of nuanced way? I was really thrilled when Ryan and Jessica asked me to participate um, with this collection of artists to think through what the Great Migration is and instinctively. And I thought about the ways in which it continues today and how it lives in my body. I'm fundamentally interested in inheritance, an inheritance that comes from liberation practices, from the instinct of freedom, um, liberation, emancipation, movement, thinking about one's um, condition outside of enclosures. I understand that we had to deal with architecture. We had to either make it find it or adapt it. So the language that I bring to the show is a language of um, different kinds of liberatory stories within different kinds of architecture. This piece speaking specifically to Box Brown. Well, that's a structure that I use. So this particular piece way over there inside me, a festival of inches, is really thinking about what I inherit what I inherit as a black woman of um, so post-migration moment, who and where I come from, but thinking about some people's cultures were built out of the necessity to help other people move other places, right? And some people needed to stay longer periods of time. So what registers of time, world building, place making, love making, you know, do we look forward to? And I think we have to think about the ways in people, the ways in which people have liberated in, in the past. The title of the work is Array, and it is a video installation that documents the performance practice, the movement practice, uh, the travel of Lakia Black, a, an aspiring actor from Uniontown, Alabama. As I listen to you, Turquoise, speak about um, what it means to choreograph the real movement of people in space uh, through your sculpture. I was thinking about the fact that my work and process for this, for this piece actually involved something similar, which was the actual physical travel, migration travel um, from out Uniontown, Alabama to New York actually, to Brooklyn, New York and back. And that one of the first choices I made responding to the invitation from Jessica and Ryan was that I was not going to use migration as a metaphor, but I knew that instead I wanted to think uh, really meaningfully, intentionally, strategically and um, in real life about what it means uh, to travel. And in fact, um, the subject of the work array uh, in many ways is language and the um, ways in which language um, is something that we sort of carry with us. I was thinking a lot about how when we travel, there's, um, there are ways in which we adapt. Mm -hmm. There are ways in which we um, become like those around us. And then there's, our, there's our, like, our core, which doesn't change. And what can we pick up and let go? Um, what will never change? Um, how do we sort of camouflage one another? Um, ourselves, I'm sorry. How do we camouflage ourselves within one another? Um, how do we um, hold tight to, to maybe what we already were? What if we don't even want to? Those kinds of questions, um, I, wanted to, I wanted to work through them alongside someone who was thinking them through in a really practical way. And so I really love that there's a, there is a kind of intimate um, 
uh, connection and collaboration in my work with, La with Lakia Black um, that feels um, like it has a really beautiful parallel um, to the broader abstract and social choreography of bodies that unfolds in your sculpture. I think with the Great Migration Show, it's really important to pay attention to the, both the quotidian, the everyday acts of freedom that we hold close and we try to hold on to. Um, and it's also really important to pay attention to sort of the meta, the macro. And I think between these conditions of um, intimacy and phenomenological conditions of um, strategies, I'm, I live in between that, right? So I'm, so I'm very interested in when people come up to the work that they see multiple selves, you know? So if there's a single person in the room moving around the sculpture that that self is broken and fragmented and put back together when there are multiple people in the room, that those bodies are in relationship to each other, that there's some refraction, that there's some movement, that there's some transparency and opacities um, in real time, right? And there's a corporeal condition happening. I think that lived experience of the work is what I'm asking for, but I don't necessarily have a desire um, for someone to take something away necessarily. Um, I think that I'm building things so people that so people can engage them with their own bodies, and my desire is that they feel compelled to engage and ask questions of their own bodies. I love seeing on social media how um, different you know different visitors have interacted with the entire exhibition and all of these incredible artists, um, and often much of the material that is integrated into my work. There are other younger people who know it better than I do. They see, you know, they, I know that they see themselves in the work, which is so beautiful and um, has just been such a, such a source of joy. Um, it feels as though there are so many experiences of um, identification and shape-shifting and travel that unfold in the work, but also more broadly in the exhibition, which is a really powerful thing. A really powerful thing that Ryan and Jessica created and it's so amazing that it's here in Brooklyn.